taped before a live studio audience in lovely Midtown Hoboken, it's Are You Smarter Than a Twelfth Grader? with your host, Ryan Webb! Hello and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Twelfth Grader? Uh, this is the student team. Mark Newman. Maldonado. And the teacher team? Mary Saphonius. Uh, Doug McCauley. Uh, thank you, thank you. Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> You're just lucky I don't have you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> These are the rules of our game. There's four questions per round. Each team has to answer two questions. First round questions are worth 25 points each. Second round questions are worth 50 points. And third round questions are worth 100 points. Let's get started. Uh, students, how many stars are there in the Little Dipper? Seven? That is incorrect. Can we have a chance to answer that? You sure can. I'll go with Nine. that. Nine? That is incorrect, too. Oh. Are we close? The correct answer is six. Oh, oh. See, we were I close. You. We just had the nine upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Next question goes to the teachers. All right. In the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, he is the on-scene villain, but in reality was an in industrialist who sent a team of experts to explore Alaska coast in 1899. Who was he? Okay, I think I know this one. Is it E. H. Harriman? That is correct. <laughs> Back to the students. That's me. How many overtimes did UConn and Syracuse go into? Six. That is correct. Good job. Good job. Back to the teachers. We're ready. What civil right activist refused to go to the Chicago World's Fair because he because they had a Negro Day? Okay, I know this one. It is Ida B. Wells. That is correct. All right, we got two. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Back to the students for round two. What was the first NBA team to win 70 games or more in the regular season? The Bulls, Chicago Bulls. That is correct. Oh. To the teachers for question number six. Okay. What did Walter Lance create after a bird hammered nonstop on the roof of his honeymoon cottage? What did he create? Okay. I'm gonna say it's uh, Walter. Uh, it's Woody Woodpecker. Um, that is correct. Yeah, he was the. That's right. Back to the students. What two states build themselves as the Sunshine State? Wyoming and Florida. That is incorrect. Do the teachers want to? Okay. We're going to say California and Florida. That is also incorrect. Ooh. Florida and South Dakota was the right answer. <laughs> so no one gets the points for that question. <laughs> <laughs> North Dakota. You're uh, getting a free ride. <laughs> no, not there. <laughs> <laughs> right. For question number eight, on the reverse side of the $100 bill, what time is shown on the Independence Hall clock? Is our question? That's for the teachers. Oh, it's for us. Oh, it's for us. Because <laughs> oh, we guessed the other one. What time was shown on the pyramid? Exactly. The, the, on the reverse side of the uh, $100. The, 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 I think it's. I think it's four, uh, April 10th. Is it 4 10? 
That is correct. Okay, he sees a lot of hundred dollar bills. So I helped prep the students, so it's uh <laughs> <laughs> You have to make it. All right. Question number nine for the. Your Mark Ravens. <laughs> is it a, a start of round three? Woo! Round three. So what nice. sports activity was originally known in England <laughs> as plank gliding? What is skiing? That is correct. Oh, all right. Good job. That pushes the students into the lead for now by 25 points. Question number 10. What problem did Leonardo da Vinci, Winston Churchill, Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, and General George Patton have in common? The movie B. Mayor. I know this one. If they, okay. They, they all have dyslexia. That is correct. Are we ahead? Yes, okay. by 75 points. Wonderful. Okay. Back to the students. What TV show lost Jim Carrey when he stepped? Hold on a second. No, what TV show host Jim Carrey? I don't. I really don't know what you guys wrote. About. <laughs> <laughs> you get what TV points show? The question before the question. Jim Carrey when he stepped into the movies. I don't know what word that's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure I know the answer. To that I know the answer too. Okay. In living color? That is correct. I didn't know the question, you answered it. I didn't even read it. It was what the question probably lost. Say it, unfair advantage. Question number 12 for the know. teachers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last question, I believe. I'm just a producer. How many windows are there on the 102 story Empire State Building? They said this to me recently. <laughs> Is now, this is the last question for the teachers. Remember, they said something to me recently about this one. It was busy. Okay. I think I'm ready to answer. Um, is it 6,000? 6, 6,000 is correct. Oh, wow. Three fifty. So at the end of the game, without the bonus round, the score three fifty to two seventy five. Teachers are in the lead. All right. So the bonus round will give you. It's a matter mark. Let's say two hundred and fifty rounds for the bonus round. Two hundred and fifty points for the bonus round question. All right. Here we go. Whoever answers it first. So is red. <laughs> what did Hyman Lippmann do in 1858 that made life easier for students? Students, you know the answer. Yes, he put the pencil and the eraser together. Wow, good for a math teacher. I bet you it's right. That is correct. <laughs> wow. We do have you on tape saying the show is right. So. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, that no puts the students in the lead with a score of 525 to 350. Oh! Congratulations. So the teachers so are not smarter than a 12th grader. <laughs> so what did they win? I told you was going to win. What they won was a brand new car. Woo! Oh <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a 1973 LeBaron. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to Scott. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the game, guys. All right. Are You Smarter Than a 12th Bader was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Produced by Macaulay Works. Sponsored by Tantastic and Liquid Bleach and Gummy Bears.